Today we will be talking all about alpha hydroxy acid. Aha! We're going to talk about what they are, what their benefits are, what the uses are, why they're in the skincare products, uh, showing also some examples of products that actually have this class of AHA. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome and also welcome back to all subscribers that we have. My name is Precious and this is Bone Health and Beauty. And you're on the series called What's In It, where we talk about the skincare ingredients or everything you have on your skincare labels. You know, breaking it down to every single bit and telling you why they're there, what the functions are, so you understand the next time you go in the store to purchase. Before we go on, I have to say there is a blog post already on our blog, which is Bone Health and Beauty. Please feel free to go there and get so much more information about the same ingredients we're talking about. And don't forget to connect with us on Instagram and Facebook and tell us what other ingredients you want us to talk about. Just pick something from your skincare product and we'll have that in another video. So what are AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids? In plain terms, these are just skin pillars or chemical exfoliants. AHAs are derived from plants and animals and they're considered, some of them are considered fruit acids. For example, glycolic acid is derived from sugar cane, while the lactic acid is is gotten from sour milk and this is a class compound so there's definitely other acids under it so it's alpha hydroxy acid which has a group of other acids put together under that same class so you have things like the glycolic acid you have the lactic acid you have the manic acid you have the tartaric acid the the alpha hydroxy acid there is the bitter hydroxy acid and then there is the polyhydroxy acid amongst of which alpha hydroxy acid is the strongest and it penetrates the most but we'll have the others on another video let's just talk today about alpha hydroxy acid alpha hydroxy acid works in the skin by releasing the bond that actually holds onto the dead skin and the dead cell so it's perfect for those with pale skin for uneven skin or even aging skin because it works as an exfoliant so it takes off the very top layer of the skin not just that it also penetrates the dermis and it can stimulate collagen formation what kind of skin benefits the most from this skin ingredient? for those who have sensitive skin or you know wider pores then it's preferable that you go for uh, something with a better hydroxy acid, which we will cover up in another video. Let's talk about safety. Generally, alpha hydroxy acids are considered safe if used in the right dosage or concentration. Uh, it's even safe for breastfeeding or pregnant women, but in all honesty, if I have to choose, I would say please just avoid it in, in the period of pregnancy or breastfeeding. We never know, but it's safe. Generally, it's safe. You probably heard of the chemical pills in the spa. It's not the same thing as the products you will get off the counter or from a drugstore because the concentration of the alpha hydroxy acid in these products are not safe to use at home. So the maximum you can possibly find in the stores will be, I think, about 10%. 10% of um, alpha hydroxy acid. Whereas in the spas, you can actually be treated with as much as a 20% and but it's a one-time treatment and you can see afterwards if you've ever seen anyone that had a chemical peel there's a whole process that the skin goes through and until it gets to the peeling uh, stage and then the new skin resurfaces but you cannot get that as a as a product in the drugstore so some of the acids that you would find under the alpha hydroxy acids will be the glycolic acid the lactic acid the malic acid the citric acid and the tartaric acid uh, some others will be under the beta hydroxy 
acids and these ones are they're not bad but they're just slower to get into the skin and they're much more preferred for those with sensitive skin or anyone suffering from rosacea or even those with wider pores or any other skin condition that just moves you away from just a normal oily or combination skin type it's better off that you go with something a bit milder <laughs> Many of us have several products we use at the same times, but acids are not supposed to be combined too often and too many, too many of them. So we probably have a wash, a face wash that has salicylic acid. It's an acid, it's exfoliating. Maybe a serum that has lactic and a moisturizer that has glycolic acid. So all together, we're already having three different acids and we use them on the same day at the same time. <laughs> to use your sunscreen every day it's no longer an option the moment you start to use a chemical exfoliant with the alpha hydroxy acid I would suggest that you do a patch test and most times it's better to do a patch test on the arm not even anywhere close to the face so you know how your body reacts to these uh, chemicals before you then take them to your face Some examples of products that actually contains alpha hydroxy acid I will put up some pictures here so you can see uh, one of the cheapest products or one of the I don't know if it's if it's readily available everywhere because I live in Hungary and at this point in time we do not have the ordinary selling properly everywhere every store that usually stocks it has been out of stock for months so but the ordinary which I think uh, it's a beauty brand that tells you exactly what you know they, they give you they're very very explicit with the information on their on their cosmetic products they actually have the alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid uh, products which I'm gonna put up a picture here so there you have it next time you go in your drugstore and you find a product that says alpha hydroxy acid you know exactly what it does but just to recap here are a few things that you need to remember that the alpha hydroxy acid does or how it benefits you in your skincare products one alpha hydroxy acids are exfoliants so they peel off the skin they're used as chemical peels for your skin This can help you to get rid of acne spots, it can fade some marks, it can help with hyperpigmentation, it can help with uneven skin, it can help with dull skin or pale skin, as well as with aging skin. It can brighten your complexion. Three, it promotes the production of collagen. guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this or you got enlightened a bit if you enjoyed watching this please give us a thumbs up and remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when next we post another video which will usually be every week but remember to engage with us on social media tell us what ingredients you would like us to talk about tell us your concerns uh, did you ever try any of the alpha hydroxy acids does your skincare products have alpha hydroxy acids and you're not even aware about it just let us know on social media we're on Instagram as Boone Health and Beauty on Facebook as well and please remember to go to the blog and read a lot more about this chemical compound alpha hydroxy acid I'll see you in my next video until then bye bye Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl.